Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. We have gutta percha today that is a obturation material. Um, obturation material is commonly asked essay question but gutta percha is a very frequently asked short note. So today's session is about gutta percha. So what is the basically the purpose of obturation? As we all know obturation is the last stage of fruit canal treatment. It starts with access cavity, working length, determination, then BMP, that is biomechanical preparation of the root canals. Then uh, finally, we do obturation with obturation material. So it is done to create a three-dimensional fluid tight seal of root canal system. It is a fluid tight seal that is not a two-dimensional, three-dimensional. So in order to achieve a total obliteration of root canal spaces so as to prevent the entry of bacteria and body fluids into root canal spaces so we are preventing bacterial micro leakage so there will not be any chance if the seal is proper or if the obturation is proper the entry of bacteria or fluid back to the root canals so we are replacing the empty root canal space with an inert filling material so as to prevent recurrent infection. So the timing of obturation, we should do obturation when the canal should be reasonably dry with no weeping of fluids in the form of bleeding or serous fluids when the patient is without sensitivity or percussion after optimal cleaning and shaping is achieved and teeth with no periradicular radiolucency okay we should wait for the periradicular lesions to be resolved so what are the requirements of an ideal root canal filling material so the material should be easily introduced into the root canal uh, it should seal the canal laterally as well as apically it should not shrink after being inserted it should be impervious to moisture it should be bactericidal or at least should be discourage the bacterial growth and it should be radiopaque it should not stain the tooth it should not irritate the periradicular tissue it should be sterile or easily and quickly sterilized immediately or before insertion it should be easily removable from the root canal if necessary when we do a re rct it should be easily removable so what are the common materials used for obturation? So today we are going to learn only the aperture, but we have more products like Listerium Silver Point Gold, Stainless Steel, Titanium, Iridium Platinum and we have MTA, Calcium Phosphate, Gutta Flow, Hydron. So Gutta aperture is a most commonly used solid core filling material. It is derived from two words. One is Gutta which means gum and Percha is the name of that tree. So, gutta percha is dried coagulated extract which is derived from the Brazilian tree which belongs to the Sapotecia family. So, it was earlier used as a restorative material as plain for holding fractured joints or to control hemorrhage in extraction socket and also used in skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema or in manufacturing of golf balls. So, the historical background, uh, Edwin Truman introduced Gutta Percha as temporary filling material whereas Bowman first used as a root canal filling material. In its crude form, the Gutta has 75 to 82 percentage, Alban has 14 to 16 and Fuevil has 4 to 6 percentage and it also contains all saccharine tannins. But as a Gutta Percha filling material, matrix that is organic matrix gutta percha is 20 percentage then the filler zinc oxide is 66 percent then the inorganic radio pacifiers like heavy metal uh, it is around 11 percent then plasticizers waxes or resins around three percent so in other words we can say organic content that is gutta percha was plus waxes 23 percent and inorganic content will be around 77 percentage so what are the different forms of gutta percha that is alpha form which is pliable and tachyate 56 to 64 degree 
which is available in form of bars and pellets which comes directly from trees and used in thermoplastic obturation technique whereas the beta form is the most uh, commercially available product and it is rigid, rigid and solid at 42 to 44 degree which is used for manufacturing gp points and sticks amorphous form exists in molten stage and the phases of water which are we have uh, phases which are interconvertible alpha which is runny tacky and sticky which has got lower viscosity whereas the beta one which is more solid compactable and elongatable which is having higher viscosity and gamma which is an unstable form and how do we manipulate this we need to heat the gutta butcha which expands and this accounts for the increased volume of material which can be compacted into root canal so after heating we introduce this into the root canal system so gp shrinks as it reaches the normal temperature so the vertical pressure should be applied applied in all warm gps because for compensating the volume change because when it uh, comes back to its normal temperature normal temperature there will be reduction in the volume so this gp should always be used with sealer and cement to seal the root canal space because this gp lacks adhering qualities so rejuvenation technique for gp which is given by sorian and oliot so this aging of gutta percha causes brittleness because of the oxidation process which comes uh, with the atmospheric oxygen and storage under artificial light also speeds up the deterioration so in order to overcome this we have a technique which is known as rejuvenation technique that is in this technique this gp is immersed in hot water for 55 degree around 55 degree for one to two seconds then immediately immersed in cold water for few seconds so how do we sterilize gp which cannot be heat sterilized for disinfection uh, we should immerse in 5.25 percentage of sodium hypochlorite for one minute then gp should be rinsed in hydrogen peroxide or ethyl alcohol so the aim of rinsing is to remove the crystallized sodium hypochlorite before obturation as these crystallized particles impairs the obturation process. And this GP is soluble in certain solvents like chloroform, uh, eucalypts oil. So this property can be used to plasticize GP by treating with the solvent for better filling in the canal. But uh, it has shown that GP shrinks when solidifies. And this GP also shows some tissue irritation, which is due to the high content of zinc oxide. So the current available forms of gutta percha, that is GP points, they are standard cones, uh, are, the, are of the same size and shape of that of the instrument, ISO enterotic instrument, which has got two percentage taper from the size number 15 to 140, which just in accordance with the instrument formula and we have auxiliary points which is non-standardized one okay they are non-standardized cones per se form of root canals uh, they are conventional sizes include extra fine medium fine fine medium medium large and extra large then uh, we have greater taper the temperature points which is available in four six eight and ten percentage taper and also we have uh, the taper gutta percha points using the taper of variable taper shaping instruments like pro taper electric e1 instrument uh, in accordance with f1 f2 f3 which is the pro taper size there is another form of gutta percha then we have gutta percha pellets or bars these are used in thermoplasticized obturation then pre-coated core carrier gutta percha and this uh, has stainless steel, titanium or plastic areas which are pre-coated with alpha phase of gutta percha which is a thermophil. Then we have serine system. It uses a very low viscosity of gutta percha so that it can be filled to the uh, root canals. Then gutta flow uh, in which the gutta percha powder is incorporated into resin based sealer. And next we have gutta percha sealers like Chloropercha and Europercha in this gutta percha is dissolved in chloroform or eucalyptol and, uh, and finally we have a medicated gutta percha 
that is calcium hydroxide or iodoform or chlorhexidine diacetate containing GP points. So what are the advantages of the temperature? The first thing is its compactability that is it has got good adaptation to canal walls and it is easily sterilized prior to insertion and does not encourage bacterial growth. It is non-staining and impervious to moisture. Its inertness makes it non-reactive material and it is quite dimensionally stable. And it has got good tissue tolerance, it is uh, radio opaque and plasticity, it becomes plastic when heated. It dissolves in some solvents like chloroform eucalyptus. This property makes it more versatile as canal filling material and it's probably the least toxic and least irritant root canal filling material. But the problems associated with gutta percha lacks rigidity that is the bending of gutta percha is seen when lateral pressure is applied. So it is difficult to use in small canals and it easily displaced by pressure it lacks adhesive quality it always needs sealer we have medicated gutta percha that is gutta percha which is mixed with calcium hydroxide which is made by containing 58 percentage of calcium hydroxide in matrix of 42 percentage of gutta percha they are available in iso size of 15 to 140 the better side is its ease of insertion and removal, minimal or no residual fit and firm for easy insertion. But the problem it is short lived action, radiolution and lack of sustained release. The calcium hydroxide plus points which are uh, gutta percha which contains tensite which reduces the surface tension and these are more reactive and we have also adaform containing gutta percha which is uh, remains inert until it comes in contact with tissue fluids on coming in contact with tissue fluids free iron is released which is antibacterial and also we have chlorhexidine diacetate containing uh, gp so where the matrix is emperor in five percentage chlorhexidine diacetate it can be used as an intracanal medicament. So that was all about gutta percha. It is a very uh, small one which commonly asked as is just a short note. But if the main question as uh, obturation material uh, comes, uh, you need to uh, add the other obturation material also. But the main thing is gutta percha. The major portion of your essay would be the gutta percha. Okay, so I'll uh, come up with another topic in the industry and more. Thank you.